Hey guys, I am back with another video and today's video is so exciting. Oh my gosh, stay tuned, bear with me through this video, like it is so exciting. Oh my gosh, um, the package came earlier than I expected and it is an early Christmas present from my boyfriend, so I'm very grateful to him. So thankful that he helped me out with getting these exclusive products. Um, so yeah, I have a big box full of Lush Oxford Street products in here. Um, the Lush Kitchen brought it onto their website and I thought it was only for one day, but apparently they're there to stay and they're permanent, so you can still go grab you some Lush Oxford Street exclusives if you want them. So that's super exciting. Um, yeah, I'm so glad they're permanently there. Um, you know, some people have been like complaining, saying that it, Oxford Street is completely ruined now because they did this, but I mean, that's just kind of, that's kind of insulting to me because, you know, there's people here in the USA that can't afford to go to the UK, like, ever, so this is like a blessing to us in the UK, or USA. Um, we get to finally try these products, and so yeah, I'm talking too much, so let's just get into it. Um, going to show you all the amazing Oxford Street exclusives I got and um, I have some I took some screenshots on my phone so that I could read to you about the products because you know I've never tried them I don't I don't know what's in them and stuff so so excited so I am just going to start from the top I will start with my um, oh I will start with the samples they gave me first in the package. Um, so I did have two more samples, but I gave the Yuzu and Coco shower cream one to my friend because I already have that. And my best friend has not tried it, so I gave that sample to her. And the Sympathy for the Skin body lotion I already have, so I gave that sample to my mom. So the other three samples I got are I think this is the yellow fun um, and oh my gosh this smells amazing it literally it smells like Christmas cookies to me and it kind of smells like snow cake if y'all have ever smelled that scent it smells so good it smells like cookies basically oh it's so amazing I've never tried the yellow fun so that's exciting and the other samples I got were the Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel, which is like a blue color and it's really, really minty. Oh, it's like super minty. I would show you, but I don't want to spill it and it's black, so you won't be able to see the blue color in the sample. But it's like super minty and probably a good shower gel for guys as well. And this is something I've never ever tried or seen in the Lush drawers. Um, it is called Go Faster Feet Foot Lotion. I've never even tried a foot lotion before, so this will be interesting. And the smell is really weird. <laughs> like, it's not bad, I just... It kind of maybe reminds me of the, treat the hair treatment in the stores, the... I don't know how do you pronounce it, the who swan went out. <laughs> it's weird. But maybe it'll be nice. I've never tried a foot lotion, but I'm excited. So those are the samples I got. They're always so nice with samples. Um, okay, so let's get into the Oxford Street exclusives. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. My hair is really gross today, I'm sorry guys. It's just, ew. <laughs> okay, um, so what are we going to start with? Um, let's start with my absolute favorite product in this box. This 
is so gorgeous. Look at those freaking cherry blossoms. This is the cherry blossom reusable bubble bar. It is so cool. It's cherry blossoms and they are gorgeous. Oh my god. And they smell amazing. This is my favorite smelling product in this box. It smells literally like sweet cherries. It's amazing. It is amazing. If you go and order some Lush Oxford Street products on the website, get this. The Cherry Blossom Reusable Bubble Bar. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. And um, so it says, pop your bath time cherry with this decadently sweet reusable bubble bar. Fill your bath to the brim with bubbles by holding this willow stick under running water and then soak under a bubble cloud of intoxicating Majorcan almonds. Go out on a limb and pop this one side for your next pop this to one side for your next bedtime delight. Sorry, I can't read. Um, but yeah, this smells so good. It smells like sweet cherries. I guess there's some almonds in there. Oh my god, it's so good. Super, super gorgeous. So that is awesome. So that is the cherry blossom bubble bar, the reusable bubble bar. And next, I'm going to show you a another bubble bar, reusable bubble bar. This one is so freaking cool. Oh. Oh my god. This is the little dragon bubble bar and it's like actually a dragon. It's so freaking cool. <laughs> I love this. This is so cute. Um, and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. There's a close-up of it. I just love this thing in the middle. Like it's awesome. Um, it smells so good. It smells like cinnamon and ginger. Oh my god. I keep saying oh my god. I'm just freaking out over all of this Lush Oxford Street stuff. I like never thought I would get to try it. Like ever. Mmm. Okay. So this one says when you need a spirited pick-me-up, put a little fire in your belly with this awakening cinnamon and ginger bubble bar filled with evocative clove bud oil to make that heart sing and warm you through to the core. A little lustrous gold escapes as the dragon dances to carve a shimmering trail through warming bath water. I am so excited to try this, but at the same time I won't want to use these because it's Oxford Street. Mmm, it smells so good. So that's the Little Dragon Reusable Bubble Bar. Definitely get that. And let's see, what am I going to show you guys next? Um, let's see. Okay, I will do bath oils. Okay, this is the Snow Melt bath oil. It is a shimmery white bath oil. Oh, and I live in Texas. I am so thankful these bath oils made it without melting. I waited till it was kind of colder. So yeah, I'm thankful because I live in Texas and it's always hot here and they survived. Didn't really melt at all. And anyways, this is the snow melt and it's just so cute and pretty. Um, it looks like a little snowball. Um, and it smells like peppermint. Oh, it's so good. It actually smells very, very similar to the Christingle Body Conditioner, if you've tried that. Mm. It smells like Christmas, definitely. Um, it says, remember your first snow and the joy of catching flakes on gloves. Frosty, stimulating peppermint oil swirls with bright silicon, sicilian, probably said that wrong, sorry. Sicilian lemon to recreate the crisp air. Fair trade organic cocoa and organic 
Illippi and shea butter, shea, oh my god, shea butters, I, I feel stupid, like, my friend was like, Hannah, it's shea, shea butter, I was like, oops, okay, so not shea, shea butters, soft in skin and transform the water for creamy snow white bliss, oh, it's just so good, it's so minty and, mmm, pepperminty, I love peppermint stuff. This would go so perfect with her single. Mmm, like this bath oil and then the body conditioner. It's gonna be so soft and minty. So I am so excited for that. Um, and then I have another bath oil. So, um, <laughs> this was supposed to be a shark fin. My, my best friend kind of sat on it, <laughs> so it broke off, but it's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the shark-infested custard bath oil, um, and it smells exactly like hair custard in the store. Like, it's the same scent. It is so good, super like a vanilla custard scent. I love this. This one is a little more melty. It's like melting a little more than snow melt, but um, yeah, that's supposed to be a shark fin. Um, my friend kind of sat on it, <laughs> um, but it's okay. Not a huge deal. <laughs> It just, it smells amazing, and it's all going in my bath anyways, so, it smells amazing. And it says, um, what's yellow and dangerous, not this, there's something vanilla scented in this water, in the water, it's on its way, on its way to nourish the skin with extra virgin coconut oil, shea, and coconut butter, don't be scared of this bath oil, descend in to the deliciously scented depths. Depths. Hold this vanilla scented melt by its melon paper fin and dive it into the bath waters. Mm, yeah, I can't really hold it by the fin since my friend sat on it <laughs> and broke the fin. Oh well. It smells so, so good. Mm. Okay, so what's next? Take that. Okay, so next we will go into bath bombs. I have a couple bath bombs here. I got, oh. I got Ylang Song, and this is a white bath bomb. And it has like a purple flower on the top. It is so cute. And it smells amazing. Mmm. It smells like jasmine and violets combined, if that makes sense. It's just super floral and sweet at the same time. It's so nice. Um, and it says, delicately fragranced with ylang ylang, rose and neroli, ylang song wants to whisk you away in a flurry of peony and everlasting flower petals, lie back and revel in floral waters as this romantic balm releases a bundle of fresh petals and beautiful essential oils into the bath water. No glitter, no luster, just the sweet perfume of ylang ylang sustainably sourced rosewood and evocative flowers to relax you as you while away the hours in a lovely bath of flowers. So yeah, this is a perfect bath bomb for floral lovers and I love floral scents. Oh, it's so good. And it was super pretty. So that is Ylang Song. And then I have a bath bomb in here called Cyanide Pill. And that's what that looks like. It looks like a pill. And 
This one is really, really, it's, it's really nice, but I can't, like, I couldn't make it out when I was smelling it earlier. I know it has, like, almond in it. So it says, um, one intoxicating acid yellow shell, plus the toxic delicacy, delicacy of almond essential oil from the parched terracotta landscape of inland Majorca. And it says, be lured in by the woody fragrance of rosewood and breathe hints of refreshing lemon oils. Then watch as the two halves of this bomb fizz uncontrollably before detonating a hidden mercury silver slick. So yeah, there's like a ton of silver glitter in here apparently. And yeah, I can... So there's rosewood, lemon oils, and almond in here. Yeah. It's a really really good scent. I like it. I like it a lot. So that is cyanide pill. And then I have a couple of fun bars. Yeah, okay. And I will show you this one first. This is the Speedboat Fun. So those are the colors. I actually shaped like a boat. That's cool. <laughs> so it's like red, orange, yellow, and blue, and it smells so good. This, like, as soon as I took a whiff of this, it reminded me of refresher shower jelly. Like, it's not the exact same, but it smells so good. Um, I love the fun bars. It's like, you can use it for four different things, like shampoo and soap and, um, for bubble bath and just like to play with if you're a kid at heart make figures out of it and stuff um so yeah and the blue kind of has some glitter in there too it's cool and um so let's see it says with those Will you seek monsters in the depths or look up to the skies and imagine the planets you could plot? Get ship shaping with your own speedboat to travel around the bath. Whichever you choose, enjoy baths scented with citrusy lemon and lemon myrtle oils with a dash of woody rosewood. Yeah, definitely rose and lemon is so good. I love this. Um... And then the other fun bar I got is the Mermaid Fun. Super, super pretty. Definitely mermaid colors. And I heard from somebody this is like the ocean salt scent. It's kind of supposed to be like ocean salt. And I definitely can get that. It's different. It's not like the exact same. But it is similar to ocean salt for sure. Um... Those are really pretty colors. I love the blue. It's like a dark, dark blue and it's glittery. I love that. Um, and it says here for this one, um, have fun as you soap, shampoo, and shape this bright multi-purpose bar packed full of comforting fair trade vanilla and floral ylang ylang. It's ready to play with whether you decide to make your mermaid a terrifying villain to be feared by every other creature you shape in the bath or charming, sweet, and singing about forks. So the last part I probably did not need to read. Um, so it's vanilla and ylang ylang. Oh. I mean, it's similar to ocean salt. I wonder... It says vanilla and ylang ylang, though. I don't really smell that, but I kind of want to read what's in here. Okay. Oh, I'm. Oh, okay. There's seaweed absolute in here. That's probably what it is. Yeah, that's making it smell like ocean salt a little. So, yeah, seaweed absolute, and there's also lime oil. That's probably what I'm smelling. Yeah. Okay. It still smells very good. I like this. I prefer the speedboat fun, but. This is good too. And I have one more product to show you guys. My last Oxford Street product is the Paunch or 
Ponche shower gel, however you say that. This one is so interesting, like, I was just, like, determined, I was so excited to try this because it has tequila in it, and it's, like, super different, which I like trying new things. And this, I was not expecting to really like this as much as I thought, like, as much as I do. Like, tequila and orange juice actually make a nice mix, like, wow. Um, it smells really, really good. It says, um... This is ponche. Traditional Mexican punch is made with fiery spices and tequila to make festivities go with a bang, and this firecracker is sure to make sparks fly in your morning shower. A festive fruity punch of fresh orange juice and plum, this shower gel has a cheeky cinnamon kick to stimulate the skin and boost your circul circulation. Sweet smelling buchu oil also has antiseptic and soothing qualities on the skin. Not to mention a delicious black currant fragrance, which I can kind of get that, yeah. It smells sweet, and you can smell the tequila and the orange juice, for sure. Uh, I like this a lot. Like, I did not think I was going to like this that much. So, I'll probably get more. So, excited. Ponch. Ponche. Someone, I don't know. I don't know how you say that. Ponch or ponche. Um, but yeah, so that concludes my lush Oxford Street early Christmas gift from my boyfriend. So excited it came. I love everything. I am so, so grateful I was able to finally get my hands on some lush Oxford Street products I didn't think I would ever get to. And um, although I would like to someday visit the big Oxford Street store. Um, now I can get the products that are exclusive to only that store, so yay. Um, anyways, I am talking way too much. Um, so thank you guys for watching my Lush Oxford Street haul gift. And um, uh, stay tuned for more videos because Christmas is coming up. More Lush hauls will be coming up. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will... What the heck is that? <laughs> wow. Anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!